All right, here's the new project, fellow Legacy Monsters. <laughs> uh, we got a 12 by 12, supposed to be square top and bottom, but 12 inch square swinging is a 17 inch swing and I couldn't do that. Um, these are solid maple. They're gonna be 35 and a half inches when it's all said and done. But uh, I've gotta take my tops and bottom squares now and route that uh, plug uh, adapter in there and then OG off the corners. So looking at the uh, one that I've already got done, you see the corners that are OG'd on there? Okay, I actually did that with a core box, spinning it on my rotary table. Let's go back and take a look at it. On the woodchuck, yes, the woodchuck, the old dude. Thing served me well. You can see that long five foot frame that's holding my router. That whole thing pivots. And it pivots on that section right there. So right here it's it's actually contacting and it and, and it'll pivot up and down as it follows a pattern. Alright, so that's uh that's gonna create my uh my my draw and it's also gonna create the pivot. Now coming down here at about the 75% mark I've got the router. And at the 100% mark, I've got the follower. And then you can also see the pattern there. Now that is a 2 inch radius pattern follower on that OG cut. And then I've also got, well you can see in here, i got a 2 inch, uh, two inch core box bit. But you can see that this is uh, able, to, uh, able to spin. So that's how it's going to spin, and then it's going to follow. See, I've got that set up on a just an old switch and a battery. It's a 12-volt 12, 12 feed on a 24-volt motor, so it doesn't turn as fast, but it's actually the perfect speed. But uh, you can see where when I crank this thing, see how it's just following that around there? See how it can just drop down the, uh, drop, drop, drop down the pattern? And that's what throws it into the wood. Well, let me go ahead and turn this thing on. I'll do a couple of rotations. You can see how this thing is actually working. thinking outside the box or outside the rotary table or whatever <laughs> but I was really worried about how this was going to work out and it actually worked out beautifully so just another idea you know using the uh, a swing arm guided by your rails to uh, create a pattern on a larger piece could be a tabletop for all that matter I mean it's uh, it's it's amazing how this thing works but uh, hope you enjoyed it go out there and make some sawdust <laughs>